Hey, what is up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful time. Here we have a showcase video for the Exploding Decoy Marksman in Lost Day Pod. The Exploding Decoy Marksman is a very unique and fun build that focusing on building up big stacks of armor shred and also buffing ourselves to deal huge amount of damage with the decoy skill. Uh, this is currently a work in progress and there is still room for a lot of improvements but I'd like to share you this build on how it's working. We're basically using Cinder Strike to buff ourselves and also to shred armor and fire assist on our enemies. After that we can simply use our decoy skill to destroy our enemies with some huge explosions. We're also using the unique bow dragon song that will boost a lot of our stats for all of our skill as we are a fire based build. As a rogue we also get the ability to randomly summon shadows as we do different kinds of ability and attacks to help us out with some extra damage. We're also using smoke bomb for some extra layers of defense and also increase the spawn rate of our shadows. We're also using the dash as our mobility skill. The build overall is not a very tanky build, but we do have some sources to keep ourselves alive. We gain a lot of health gain on both regular hits and also critical hits. Really great as we are focusing on getting as much attack speed as possible. We're also gaining some reward from unique boots, advents of the erased. And also being a ranged build also do help out quite a bit of staying alive as we can be at a safe distance most of the time. Pros here, it's a very fun playstyle, just blowing everything up. It also has some huge damage potentials, as the damage effectiveness of the throw damage for the decoy skill is at 600% effectiveness. And for the biggest con for this build, as I mentioned before, it is a pretty squishy build. For the uniques that we're using, the first unique is called Dragon Song, as I mentioned before. And here we gain fire damage with spells and attacks. We get plus 2 to level of fire skills. Up to 17% increased attack and cost speed with fire skills. Up to 7% critical strike chance for the base with fire skills. And also we have a chance to cause dragon fire on crit, which is a pretty cool mechanic. Uh, this is a spell, so you can start to focus on getting more fire damage to spells here if you like to try and scale up the damage. Next is Kelton Blasting Agent, which is an important unique for this build. We gain 88% reduced decoy duration, and this makes it so the decoys will now explode when we cast them. We get up to 160% increased cooldown recovery speed for the decoy skill and also up to 18% to fire penetration. Lyrax Claw is another great unique that basically provides a huge throwing critical strike multiplier to throw skills up to 130%. Great boost for our damage for the decoy skill. Advent of the race makes it so when you gain haste or refresh duration, you gain up to 35 ward. And as a rogue, we have a lot of ways of getting haste. But the main one is from the passive point agility, which makes it so we get a 25% chance per hit to gain haste. This is really great to help with our survivability. We also get less damage over time taken while we have haste, chance to gain haste for 3 seconds when a nearby enemy dies, and also some increased movement speed. As these boots are Weaver's Will Unique, uh, the extra stats on these boots is going to be different to every player. For some stats for this build, try to go for Health, Resist for the cap, Increased Attack Speed, and here for Bow or Fire Attacks, Increased Fire and Elemental Damage, Throwing Damage, Increased Critical Strike Chance and Multiplier, Dexterity, Chance to Shred Armor on Hit. And for the class specific stats, try to go for increased damage while wielding a bow, increased shred armor effect, level of decoy, and also level of cinder strike. For the idols, you want to go for 4 large idol with the chance to shred armor on bow hit, and also with increased shred armor effect. Or you can also go with increased damage while wielding a bow. The rest of the slots try just to fill with double health stout idols. 
for the blessings. Some of the more notable ones is going to be from the timeline The Black Sun. And here you can get the critical strike multiplier up to 40%. From the timeline ending the storm. Here we can get some ward per second for some extra defense. Reign of Dragon for up to 20% to all resistance. Spirit of Fire for up to 100% increased fire damage. And let's go over quickly the most important nodes for the skills, starting with Cinder Strike. So Cinder Strike is a melee or bow combo skill with three different attacks. And this is mainly used to buff ourselves with more damage and also to make our enemies weaker so they take even more damage. Kindling makes it so Cinder Strike have a chance to shred enemy fire resistance. Burning Dagger makes it when we have consumed 8 mana, we grant Burning Damnel that will circle around us for a couple of seconds and then launch at the nearby enemy dealing damage. Fire Breathing will make it so we now throw 5 Burning Daggers in a cone in front of us for Cinder Strike's first attack. Umber Configuration also makes it so all of our shadow is now do the same as I mentioned before. Oil Coating provides some fire damage percent here uh, per stack. Coated darts for some additional throwing fire damage. And lastly Combustion for just the fire penetration. Next up is going to be the decoy skill and this basically we throw out our decoys and they will explode dealing tons of damage. Grand Diversion for some extra decoys when we are throwing. Shrouded Core makes the decoy leave a shadow in its place after it's detonating. Excessive Explosion for the huge damage multiplier to the skill. We're using Boom for some damage multipliers here and also for a bigger area for the explosion. And lastly, Backup Buddy for one additional charge for decoy. Umbral Blades is a damage ability that is going to be used by our shadows. Umbral Remnant makes it whenever one of our shadows expired and now also leave behind a Umbral Blade. Cacophony of Steel makes it so the blade in the ground now creates a blade storm instead. Lothing makes it so the blade storm now will home out to nearby enemies. Explosive Blades makes it so the blades in the ground now also will arm and after a short duration they will now also detonate. Burst of Agony for just some more explosive area and damage. Smoke Bomb will provide some different perks for our character, uh, it will blind enemies and also grant us haste while we are inside the Smoke Bomb. Lingering Fumes for a longer duration. Umbrella Assault will make the Smoke Cloud has a chance to create shadow each second at the random location inside of the Smoke Cloud. Rapid Concealment makes it so the Smoke Cloud will grant us stacks of Dusk Shroud more frequently. Great for more defense. Impending Gloom for a bigger area and also growth speed. Thick smoke so we can apply slow to enemies inside the smoke cloud. And Conclude in Carnage just so we take some less damage over time taking per Crimson Shroud. Lost skill is going to be shift and this is going to be a dash and it works as a mobility skill. Momentum makes it so we get 50% increased move speed for a brief moment after we have used shifting. Lasting Presence, leave behind a shadow at the place that you shifted from. Shadow Sleep makes us invulnerable while we are shifting. Elusive makes it so we get some additional dog chance per point of dexterity for one second after we have shifted. And lastly, Consumed by Shadow for that kill threshold. And here a quick preview of the passive skill tree. But for more information about the build, I do recommend you to go and check out the Last Epoch Build Planner. Both for the passive and the skill tree, you can simply use the progression bar at the bottom of the screen here to easily see the progression for this build. And to the left here, you can also get a basic load filter on the build planner that will highlight all you need to get for both leveling and for the end game. Link for this will be in the description. So what do you think about the exploding decoy marksman? Have you tried out before or tried another version of it? Feel free to tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!